park in the middle of February and listen to the <laughs> Swing of Medallion. Really, it will feel like <laughs> the middle of summer, we promise, when the Richmond Hill Rotary holds a fundraiser for local charities and causes. And joining us now, we have Rotary Board member Rich DeLong. Welcome. Thank you. And we have David Crockett of Coastal Confections, one of the many local businesses that will be participating in the fundraiser. And we have full disclosure that Be Mine Cake <laughs> was, was yours. So those are available as we get ready for Valentine's Day. Yes, ma'am. People can come order those or Yes, ma'am. Um, any we're an internet best an internet based company and they're on our website and I think it's a really good Valentine's Day cake. It's chocolate with strawberry ganache <laughs> in the center wow. and topped with, we work with a local company here called Fondorific. Yes. And the cake is topped with strawberry flavored fondant. That is the biggest stuff all across the world that with for, for bakers. And I have to say, if you've ever tried to make a heart-shaped cake, don't <laughs> waste your time. Just mm -hmm. go ahead and get the real thing. So you're one of the businesses participating in the fundraiser, which is really just a, a fun way to raise money that's going to stay in the community. That's right. Every year, Rotary has a major fundraiser to help sponsor all the other good things that Rotary does, not only in our community, but also internationally and worldwide. So uh, this year, we thought we'd have a little fun, bring in the swing and medallions, turn the city center into a beach kind of theme. We're going to have a boardwalk. Davey's going to be <laughs> on the boardwalk with all his specialties, and we have some other vendors that are also going to be there as well. Because I can remember growing up, uh, I used to visit the Jersey Shore every summer, ah. and that boardwalk was the mainstay for us. Have to let everybody know that the Rotarians know how to party. That's right. <laughs> yes, we do. And of course, the Swing and Medallions, you, d you don't get any you better You can't get that. a better Southern party band than the Swing and Medallions. We're going to have a full dance floor, uh, great hors d'oeuvres, lots of food, dancing, fun, silent auction, live auction, and of course, all of Davies' good stuff to eat. And with them there, even if we have weather like we did right. at the beginning of this week, it'll still feel like summer. <laughs> we hope so. We certainly hope so. So you're, you're making the beach theme inside, and you want people to dress beachy? Uh, the, the dress theme is casual. So beachy is fine. It may be a little cool for bikinis. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, but certainly casual dress. This is going to be a fun uh, affair. It, again, it's geared towards uh, just having some fun, getting out, letting your hair down but also raising money for the Rotary Club. There are some sponsorship packages available. There are sponsorship packages, and they're also beach theme. We have the umbrella. We actually, <laughs> we have the pavilion package, and then umbrella, and uh, beach ball, and sand dollar. And this is a nice opportunity for the local businesses, too, because this is Richmond Hill people, essentially. It's open to everyone, but you're going to get a lot of folks from Richmond Hill coming by. Yes, sir. Um, like we, they approached us, and we have no problem doing the charity event because I grew up in a small-knit community, and I'm very, very hardcore belief that the more you support your community that comes back tenfold and it's a you know worthwhile charity it's a great charity they're a great club and anything that i can do to help my community i mean it's just outstanding i i, I i'm gonna jump at the chance the richmond hill rotary of course um there to help the businesses in the area but the local organization so how does the money get spread out well uh, the board decides on how the money Gets spread out, but we have a couple things already in place. The J.D. Gardner Scholarship, which goes to our local students. We also support um, the senior citizens of our area. Uh, we had a great Christmas luncheon for them uh, in December. And then, of course, we, uh, as, uh, as needs arise uh, and we're approached, the Rotary has some discretionary funds put, to, put aside to help folks who either get in trouble or just need something to, to do yeah. something else good. This is coming up on February 8th. It is open to the public and it will be delicious. And we're going to show you why when we come right back. <laughs> the that was unbelievable. No, it? That's just <laughs> fabulous over here because these are real. That's right. Beautiful. And you're not smelling the flowers. No, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we to told you the where, we told you the, the what for, and we told you the why. This is. Um, a bigger why for the Rotary event coming up. You are going to get to sample. What are we going to be tasting at the event? Uh, I am going to have some tiramisu. Okay, that's the small one here mm -hmm. in the middle. And basically it is espresso infused coffee into the pastry cream cake with a marscapone cheese mousse. And I have a couple samples there for y'all. Um, I know that y'all have been up going nonstop since this whole <laughs> winter storm <laughs> thing. So I feel you could use a little <laughs> coffee boost. Yeah. Shot of espresso, that's right. Um, other things we're going to be offering there are going to be some cupcakes. I am going to have some uh, chocolate truffles. And I am working on some saltwater taffy. 
Yay! What a perfect thing. That was a thing. big. That was a big thing exactly. on the. I mean, cold water taffy, perfect for a guy who used to go to the, the Jersey Shore. Box. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk a little bit about Coastal Confections. Where are you located in Richmond Hill? We are an internet internet based company. Um, Bryan County actually. Strictly in, in yes. that. Okay. Um, Bryan County passed an ordinance just for us. Um, it is called the Georgia Cottage Law, and it allows people to sell food out of their home as long as it's not meat or cheese. Right. And I graduated culinary school, and I believe I have the talent, and I'm not going to go run a shop without having good clientele. Yeah. So this is a way for me to get my name out until hopefully this time next year I will have a shop. What a fabulous Building idea. A but you know, a lot of people would just as soon do that shopping mm -hmm. on the internet so, as to actually uh, go to a brick and mortar. Yeah. So I mean, you mentioned cupcakes, but then you go up to, I mean, <laughs> extremely <laughs> elaborate creations. I try to push myself. Um, I am a graduate of Chef Sean Vanderville. Woohoo! Oh. Yes, from Savannah and, uh, Tech. Fantastic. Fabulous. And I took his teachings and knowledge and tried to build on that. And uh, this is by far the biggest thing I've ever made. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. How is that cake suspended? I on chocolate, that's chocolate. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> but what's holding it up? <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I don't want to know. I have a cake board underneath, and there is a rod running through the center, okay. and the board is supporting the weight of the entire So cake. the rod is connected to the, the board. cake board. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. yeah, how much of a cake that's like beautiful. that is edible? <sighs> all of this all is of edible. All the exterior. And this is all, all chocolate. chocolate. On the um, now the only thing that I wouldn't recommend eating would be the honey, okay. which is actually melted sugar, a substitute called isomalt. Okay. Um, it is edible, um, but it's rock, rock hard. Rock really, yeah. really hard. If you do, you go to the website. Um, you have different um, cl classifications there, or whatever you want to call um With cakes, you have um, anything from chocolates and and art. What is the um, yes, we we have some pictures. I think <laughs> from the we take chocolate and mold it into various forms. Yes, as well as the isomalt, I can take it and mold it into various forms. Yes, um, you do. <laughs> I've had <laughs> several of Savannah wedding planners use it for their bride's table. Um, it is to me a great substitute if someone wants ice sculpture. Right. I can do the same thing out of isomalt, and it will last forever. So anything from from pies to cakes to the um, the moldings, and I think the last picture may be there. Is that a sample of them? Yes, the that is the chocolate okay. molding. Um, and like I said, that is anything that you can think of. If I have enough time, I can do it. Wow. Hey, Rich, just a, a one example of the many interesting businesses that are popping up throughout Richmond Hill. Uh, we, uh, the other uh, vendors that we have, of course, are so much baggage, and they do a just a, a plethora of different types of uh, clothing items and purses and things like that that the guys need to shop for for Valentine's Day. There you go. <laughs> so he's going to be another timing. vendor. That's right. Uh, we also have the ice cream stop is going to be there. What's a boardwalk without ice cream? <laughs> That's right. Doesn't matter what the temperature is, everybody likes ice cream. And then uh, we also have Jason Barker is going to be our photographer, and we're going to have, you know, put the head through the eye. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay, so you don't have to wear that bikini because you'll have the, right. the picture. You're going to have right the there. perfect body if you just put your head through the hole. Okay. That's right. Did You're you hear him say that right? those were here to be tasted? <laughs> I don't know what we're waiting That's for right. here. So, the, and tell me again, this is the espresso it's infused tiramisu, right? mm, tiramisu. tiramisu. Wow. You didn't bring enough spoons. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Sorry. I, I've got to go to the beach, remember? That's okay. right, yeah, you got to get in bathing suit shape. Mm. And we're going to have, have, have a lot more than you had. Mm, and you we're leaving that. this to the, for the entire WTSC crew. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Thank That's you fantastic. so much. And again, February 8th, it is, we're going to the beach right. in February, and it will be warm. We'll be right back. Here's your ticket. Go to WTOC.com so that you can find out how to get these. You can get them in advance or get them at the door. And this chef delivered. And because we're coming up on Valentine's Day, we have this little <laughs> picture for you, for a heart cake. And you can see it is small in size, so it's not overdoing it, which I know you would also. Moderation. Absolutely. Moderation. Let's share. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you both so much. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you very much. Thank you. Head to the beach in February. That's